welcome to Lignum Vital Studio. Um, I'm Lignum Vital, and I'll be showing you a couple tricks I've learned through the years of my woodworking um, that I think are really useful and that everybody should know. Um, I don't know about you, but I get tired of going out and buying drill bits that are the really small ones. I find they break really easy, and they're expensive. And today I'm going to show you a trick of how to use a nail as a drill bit. Now, as you can see, I've already got a nail inserted in my bit, but let me take this out real quick. I have to chop it open all the way. It even still has the head on it. So this works pretty well, and you can put a pretty good sized head in there if you look at it. So you pop it in. Here we go. Now, you notice I'm using a pretty good sized nail, but you can go pretty small. You can even use a finished nail. It works great. And if you don't have a nail but you need a drill bit really bad, something I've used and gotten away with is a clothes hanger. Wire clothes hanger chopped up into pieces, chopped in, works great. And if you observe, you've got a block of wood here. There you go. You got a drill. Now, something else that's really handy is let's say you're doing a project like, I don't know, any woodworking project and you don't have as many hands as you'd like. I don't know about you, but I could certainly use another two hands when I'm working on wood. So, here's another good trick. You can take it, drill it in, and now, reverse, and the nail is in the piece. And so now you don't have to worry about, oh, trying to hold the nail and the hammer and, you know, hitting your hand. It sucks. And if you can tell, it's, it's in there pretty good, actually. Actually, it's in there really good. And if you don't like that, all you can do, put it back on, rechalk it, that's back out. And, let's say you don't have that size. Well, I'm using another nail right here. Different size bit. Now, here we go. Another hole. And you can use this trick for just about anything. And I know it works on MDF, softwoods like the cypress, oak. You can even use it on acrylic if you go slow enough and take your time. And this way, if you have like a small hole that you need to drill and you don't have the bit, you can just improvise. I find it's a great trick around the shop and it saves you a lot of money.